Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this story just will not go away. Shamima Begum. The UK government did not properly assess whether the former jihadi bride Shamima Begum was, quote, a victim of trafficking before making her stateless. That's what a court has heard. Lawyers representing the now 23-year-old who travelled to Syria at the age of 15 argue that she was groomed for the purpose of bearing children for ISIS fighters. Representatives also told the court Shamima Begum is a young Muslim woman, someone about who everything and everyone can give an opinion. Yeah, fine. Anyway, our political reporter Catherine Forster is at the Asylum and Immigration Tribunal in central London. Uh, Catherine, thank you very much. A lot of people are saying, oh, God, grief, you know, why on earth are we even having this discussion? But of course, there's due legal process to go through. What are some of the legal arguments being made right there? Yes, this is yet another attempt by Sharina Bagan's lawyers to get her back in the UK. She is, of course, still in a camp in northern Syria, despite their best efforts to get her back since she was found heavily pregnant there in 2019 when the caliphate collapsed. Now, her lawyers are saying that she is indeed a victim of child trafficking, that the Home Office, that uh, the security services should not have uh, allowed her to go, that a girl from her school had gone two months before the three of them went, and that why had that not been pursued, why had they not followed that up. Um, they are using words like brainwashing, describing ISIS as a cult. Um, the government, very, very robust in their defence, both from the Home Office and uh, somebody from MI5 who, of course, was giving evidence from behind a curtain to protect um, his identity. They are very firmly saying that she was, is and will remain a threat to national security and for that reason must not be allowed back into the United Kingdom. Now, the MI5 chap used a phrase, uh, said that he didn't think it was credible that she didn't know what ISIS were about, that she was a smart, articulate 15-year-old girl uh, predicted to get A's and A stars, that at the time what ISIS were doing, beheading people very publicly, it was all over the media, that she was responsible for her actions, that she went voluntarily. Her lawyers are trying to make out that she went, that she was brainwashed, that she was trafficked, that she was groomed. Whether this will work or not, who knows, but um, obviously costing the Home Office a lot of money and presumably uh, her lawyers are being paid quite a lot of money as well, I imagine.